Half a day and good morning, Guam. I'm Janella Carrera with your morning news update. A family has come forward to tell their story of how they were also victimized by accused baby puncher Yu Hua Han. Police say Han was a woman in a viral video seen punching a 10 month old baby, but Crystal Townsend says that wasn't the first time Han was involved in an assault like that. Townsend says back in 2009, Han stabbed her husband and two year old daughter at Lone Star Restaurant. Townsend says Han was found not guilty by reason of insanity and her case was expunged. Han is being held on $5,000 cash bail. And the former chief of staff for Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio, Dong Cho, was arrested on charges of family violence. Cho appeared in court yesterday, charged with family violence and assaults, both as misdemeanors. According to the complaint, Cho physically assaulted his wife, Maribel Cho, by holding her around the neck and putting her in a headlock. Maribel showed up in court to express her desire for her husband's release, saying she wanted to drop the charges. Cho served as the lieutenant governor's chief of staff since he took office in 2011. However, Cho was recently moved to the Guam Economic Development Authority. He was released yesterday on a $2,000 performance bond. And several inauguration ceremonies were held yesterday. The governor, the lieutenant governor, all 15 senators, and the attorney general's office making way for the start of a new government. The governor's inauguration was held at Adaloop, while the legislature was held held theirs at the legislative session hall and the attorney general's over at the Supreme Court of Guam. That was your morning news update. I'm Janella Carrera. Thanks for watching. Many schools started yesterday. Oh, I sincerely wish you that you'll learn and make wherever you live a better place for the future generations. I'm Joanna O oh with Local Weather. It looks like you might want to avoid wearing white pairs of shoes this week because school hallways can turn a little muddy. Moderate trade winds and isolated showers are present across the Marianas and in the U.S. expects these winds and showers to be with us for a few more days. Take a look, expect mostly cloudy skies for isolated showers for both today and tomorrow for both days. Winds are expected to be eastwards with speed of 10 to 20 miles per hour. Highs will be around 88 and lows 78. Saipan will be in same conditions as Guam for today and tomorrow, except that highs will be around 70, 87. That's it for me and stay tuned for more with Ginger.